Hello from the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library's Robertson Garage. I'm curator Andrew Phillips. It's April 5th, and we are commemorating the death of Joseph Henry Hall, who passed away because of the Spanish flu 100 years ago today. Joe Hall's death was unfortunately common in 1919, as the influenza epidemic raged around the world. Historians estimate its death toll was between 50 and 100 million people, roughly 3 to 5 percent of the global population. What makes Joe Hall unique is that he was a professional hockey player, and his death was part of the reason the Stanley Cup would not be awarded that year. In its 126-year history, there have only been two occasions in which the Stanley Cup was not awarded to a championship hockey team. In 2005, due to the NHL lockout, and in 1919, when both competing teams were incapacitated by the Spanish flu. On March 29th, Game 5 of the series was played, and the National Hockey League champion Montreal Canadiens defeated the Pacific Coast Hockey Association champion Seattle Metropolitans, tying the series two games to two with one tie. The deciding game was scheduled for April 1st, but in the intervening days, players from both teams were hospitalized with influenza, some with fevers up to 105 degrees. Montreal offered to forfeit the Stanley Cup to Seattle, as the Canadians had lost more players and were unable to fill their lineup. But the Metropolitans' coach refused, saying that it was the result of catastrophic illness. Joe Hall, who was one of the Montreal players, would die of pneumonia brought on by the flu on April 5th. Montreal's manager, George Kennedy, was also stricken and would never fully recover, passing away a few years later. To learn more about the 1919 Stanley Cup and the influenza epidemic, please visit us at the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library in San Virginia or on our website, woodrowwilson.org.